All right, so Jao, this year your race strategy a lot different than last year. Last year you really attacked the first hundreds. This year it looked like you were holding back. What was um, behind that strategy? Uh, to be honest, I didn't have much strategy. I was just, I was in my zone. I was, I was just worried about to do my race. I, I didn't think much. I, obviously, I wanted. I knew the guys would kind of come for me, like in the first hundred. So I pushed a little bit, and the third fifty, I was just okay. You know, trying to be positive. My legs were burning like pretty bad, and I was just like, okay, I'm trying to find something positive out of it. I was just like, okay, that pain feels good. It's, it's fine, you know. Trying to control, like, the, uh, make sure I was not losing any my stroke. And the last fifty, my my leg was just burning so bad and I was also trying to be positive like every stroke I was taking I was like okay think what you're doing just you know gotta make sure make sure you do everything right and I knew the guy everyone was coming for me but I, I, I did everything I could it was good it was a good race it was fun did you see Kula up uh, over there in lane one uh, I, I didn't know that it was him I saw someone was going like right there, but I, didn't, I had no idea that was him. I, I knew it was going to be a tough race. Uh, but yeah, I, it was fun. What was, what was different right between this race and the uh, U.S. Nationals earlier this year when you were out 43.5, so you were 44.1? What was different about it? Just any different to approach or just you just weren't out quite as fast and you just still found it I think what I did in Nationals, uh, what I did in Nationals, I don't know if I can say it was kind of... Dumb. Uh, I think was, <laughs> I think we're going out at 43 is like it's insane. Uh, I was just I was testing my limits. Uh, definitely here I was pretty concerned. Uh, as my coach said, I was instead of fight against the, the, my pain, I was you know, trying to control, try to like manage it. So you know, definitely I can work on that next time. Which win means more to you this morning or last year's? Uh, it's hard. Last year was definitely like was something I I kind of expected, but it was you know never happened before. And now I already know how it feels like. It definitely it feels it feels pretty good. Just you know touching the wall. See since a year nobody had beat like nobody beat me, and it's good. It's a good feeling. I know that Simon Burnett's record's always that time that everybody's chasing for was was that even part of your mindset this year or was it always just about the race no it was definitely that was my goal uh i just set up my goal uh to beat that time i would say a little bit uh but i mean the record's still there i think i think i i can do that you know maybe national winter nationals next year we'll see so what are your plans uh, for the next year after? I'm going to keep training in Louisville. Uh, definitely things are working well. And uh, we have, what, two years for Olympics. I'm, I don't feel like making any change. Uh, yeah, I'm staying in Louisville, training for Olympics. You, Thomas, and uh, Cameron, and your relay, Counted for 49 points, and, and Louisville has moved up into 12th place in the in the standing. Talk about tomorrow and uh, and the ultimate goal for the Cardinal at the end of this meet. Uh, definitely, the guys they they did a really good job. Thomas and Chastain they they swam a really good race. Uh, Thomas, they, I think both of them they improved their time. Uh, I really it was school record. Uh, we all we all are fighting like really hard to accomplish our goals, which is being top five this year. Uh, yeah, definitely tomorrow is an, it's another day, uh, it's another fight, and we bring all the weapons we have. This four for relay tomorrow is going to be a good one. You guys are I think seated third. You know, it looks like it might be your best relay. Yeah. What, uh, how are you going to approach that in the morning? Uh, and you got you got two big swims in the morning and then two big ones at night. I mean, what's what you know? What's your goal in the hundred free individually, and what's Louisville's goal in the four by one? Uh, my goal is, I mean, definitely me, Marcel, and the other guys. We're going to have a big battle. Uh, it's going to be hard, especially for like, it's hundred free is I think is the hardest because. After two days, 
uh, performance in the in the third day. It's pretty hard, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very positive, and it's going to be a fight. And the relay is definitely going to be a, a pretty good thing. We can have a, a pretty good chance to score big time. That, last year when you won the 200 free, you did their uh, feet in the air celebration. Difference this year? Yeah, as I say, like the last year was something new. Uh, I, I was in, in a new feeling, and I think this year I was too tired to celebrate. I mean, <laughs> the fact that I didn't beat my time, it's, you know, for I think for every swimmer, it's not much about. Yeah. Definitely, being winning is a, it's a huge thing, but once you beat your like how to say like beat your time or beat yourself it's it's better than beating anyone else anything else thanks Joe